Tonight, the CDC is warning of an alarming surge in diabetes in coming decades among Americans under the age of 20. Treating the disease with insulin can be very expensive. And in our series, Side Effects, Gotti Schwartz looks at why a cap on prices in the new year will still leave tens of millions behind. If you caught sight of brothers Owen and Thomas Gibson playing ball, chances are you'd never guess their pockets are constantly stocked with medical supplies. But as some of the one in 10 Americans with diabetes, just opening their family refrigerator is a constant reminder that life and insulin comes at a frustrating price. It's not like this is new, right? No, it's never changed. The patent was sold for $1 one century ago, and since then, nothing's really changed. It hasn't gotten better, it's just getting more expensive. As inflation rises, insulin prices in the U.S. remain by far the highest in the world. We are definitely seeing people that with diabetes ration their insulin more than they've ever been. And how dangerous is that? It's incredibly dangerous. I mean, it, it, you are dealing with people's lives. For years, some have chosen to head across the border to buy insulin in places like Mexico, like this group we accompanied in 2019. But this year, there was hope that all that could finally change with the Inflation Reduction Act and talk of a nationwide cap on monthly insulin costs. When the legislation goes into effect in January, there will be a $35 a month limit on what patients pay out of pocket for insulin, but only for those with Medicare. The Gibson brothers are among an estimated more than 21 million being left behind. When you heard about the Inflation Reduction Act and then you found out that that relief seems to have an age to it, what went through your mind? I'm so angry. It's exhausting. Just getting your hopes up, thinking, wow, maybe now we'll see a change. I just feel like we're being completely taken advantage of. You know, we don't have other options. On average, um, in a year, we're over $20,000. You guys are over $20,000 in out-of-pocket expenses, and you're saying you're lucky because you guys have insurance. We are not the worst off. We have insurance. There are people who don't, and that's really scary because those people have to make hard decisions. Do we buy insulin or do we pay rent? But it doesn't always seem that far off. A constant fear shared by millions of other families dealing with diabetes every day. Gotti Schwartz, NBC News, San Diego. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.